Hello Life Church, Pastor Wayne here. This is day eight of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm really glad you're here with us today. Uh, if you have the scripture available to you, uh, hard copy, digitally, whatever the case might be, I'm going to encourage you to uh, turn to Romans 12, chapter 18. Romans 12, chapter 18. <clears throat> but first, here's the real question right now. How are you doing? Now, that's a loaded question because um, you might be thinking I'm asking about how are you doing with the fast, depending on what you're fasting from. Um, but you also can comprehend that I'm talking about what's going on in, in the society today, in the political atmosphere. And uh, we've had some tumultuous times here in the last couple of days, some really uh, striking, stark, upsetting, challenging, unnerving, unsettling things happening. Now, we're in the midst of COVID. Everyone knows that long known story. Um, but we have been in a period of unrest in this country for a long period of time, longer than most people realize. For a couple of decades now, it's been coming uh, more and more intense, more and more intense, more and more intense. Uh, this past week, as we all know, right as uh, President-elect Biden and Harris were being uh, certified, the electoral votes for them as our next president and vice president, our own current president uh, was at least partially responsible for uh, stoking another dynamic of this unrest. And uh, it's uh, unnerved a lot of people. Here's, here's the challenge. The question is, how are you doing with peace? And the scripture here says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, Live at peace with everyone. Wow, quite a, quite a statement. Now, you may remember back in John, Jesus said, Hey, peace I give you. Not as the world gives. <laughs> I give a different kind of peace. Uh, and we all know the world gives peace primarily based on circumstances. And by the way, media, social media, whatever the case might be, is not designed to deliver peace. It's designed to tell you what's wrong with something, everything, the weather, your community, people in your community. Oh, yeah, they sprinkle in some other stuff here and there. But uh, the national media, what's wrong with the country or, or this party or this that party or um, this politician? And, and, and so it is not designed in any way, sense, shape or form to conform to peace. But most of us don't do very good at guarding our peace with regard to media intake, and especially when there's all kinds of things flaming around. But this scripture says, um, again, I'm talking in Romans 12, 18, if it is possible, it kind of insinuates it isn't always possible. But if it's a possible, and if it's all possible, then as far as it depends on you, your orientation, your purpose, your perspective, your actions, your speech are supposed to be that which brings peace between you and other people. Live at peace with others. Now, hmm, pretty challenging, isn't it, in today's society? Because some of us are drawn in, especially on social media. And if you're fasting from social media, maybe uh, you're probably in good shape. <laughs> Uh, a better shape than some of us right now. But uh, maybe you were fasting for social media and then you got drawn into all the stuff that's going on and you just had to check and don't berate yourself for that. Don't uh, Just start again. That, that's fine. If you still that's, feel that's what God's path is for you, uh, don't berate yourself. Don't lose out on what God's still doing in the midst of you. However, uh, we talk with people. We have interaction on social media. We read social media. We may post on social media. We may repost, reshare, retweet, whatever the case might be, based on what we think needs to be 
emphasized about the ridiculous behavior of people on the other side of us. And that's not bringing peace. If you're berating anybody, nationally known, or some idiot, as you've defined them, who has spoken out something, aligned themselves with someone, that as a believer, you're an error. <laughs> we don't berate people. We don't bring them down. That's not what we're supposed to do. Now, hey, you and I both know we're human beings, and sometimes we just lose our cool. Sometimes we just blow up. But here's the admonition. If it is possible, and anything that, that de depends on our action, then it's possible. We certainly may need God's help, but it's possible. As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So, dear Heavenly Father, we're in a state right now where we're asking you to remove from our hearts things that would help, that would hinder us from remaining peaceful and things that would actually uh, be destructive would take us towards tearing someone down, berating, mocking, ridiculing, sowing hate tread, regardless of whatever, however we justify it. We're asking forgiveness. God, we need help. Um, our country needs help. But first, right now, what we're focusing on in this time of prayer and fasting, we need help. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you today help arrest our thinking, our responses, our reactions that go to tear, go to bite, go to divide, go to convince in an unyielding manner that is derogatory, divisive. Father, we need peace. Guard our heart, hearts and our minds with peace. And would you, in Jesus' name, arrest our behaviors long enough for us to say, yeah, I'll cooperate. I'll bring that over to the side of the road and stop where I was headed with that. Help us, oh God. And for it all, we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.